Hello and welcome to Sign the Impressive Death Management. My name is Grifter and we are playing The Sims 3. Where is Illidan going on his bicycle, you may ask? Uh, we're going to the mausoleum to manage the dead. Oh, I lost him. Okay. Um, it's quite a ways to the mausoleum. Maybe I should have started the episode a little bit later, but we can just watch Illidan with... I mean, he's got normal clothes, so good for him. Oh, that was Anixia. I uh, didn't stop to say hi because... Um, you know, she's really just not a huge part of the family these days. But, um, okay, so a lot of people suggested things to maybe try to get Gustavo's headstone back. And it's not in the family inventory. I already looked there. It's not in Arlo's inventory. Um, I don't care. What is this? Wait, return to improve your job. Well, okay, okay, we should do that because she needs... We want her to get promoted before she dies. She wants to be the leader of the free world. Okay, so... Um, everybody else was busy, right, doing adult things, so, uh, we might as well, he got a memory for visiting the graveyard, okay, we might as well have Illidan go, because he's probably just going to be mostly ignored for most of his life, just like Medivh, and, uh, this is his time to shine, so this is Medivh's episode, we're going to manage the dead, there's a manage the dead option here, and Jack Bunch, Judy Bunch, Tristan, VJ Avi. okay, um, that didn't work. So, <laughs> that sucks. It turns out that Gustavo's grave is probably just glitched into the ground somewhere, which really sucks. Because, I mean, what? why does it let you engrave an epitaph on these? That's weird. Okay, um, also, you can explore the catacombs. So, <laughs> we might as well have Illidan do that by himself. I mean, he wants... He wants to meet a supernatural. What are his traits? He's brave, hates the outdoors, and is insane. So, I mean, why wouldn't he want to explore the catacombs? That's... Oh, he should meet this person. When he's done. Being terrified. What's going on with his mood, I wonder? Is it doing anything weird to him? He's having fun. Oh, are there noises? Shh, shh, let's listen. Nope. Nope, not, nothing... Nothing too crazy going on in there. Uh, okay. I was hoping he would, like, come running out of it screaming and being chased by ghosts or something, but no. No, now we're just looking at a catacomb. He just explored it? Okay. Uh, oh, okay, well. Well, that happened. He's a little bit naked. A little bit dirty. Um, hair's a little bit messed up. And he's got the horrified debuff. But other than that, I mean, he's in pretty good mood. And he has a want to meet a supernatural. So, Illidan hates the outdoors. Which means if he's not inside, he's not happy. Well, <laughs> that's kind of extreme. Plagued by nature. <laughs> Alright, um, that's pretty much how I feel when I leave the house. But, um, it's not quite so extreme. I'm not just instantly unhappy. Also, I don't go explore catacombs, but hey, hey, lady! Oh no! It's, oh, it's a naked child! Oh, what are you doing? What are you? What? Running around in the graveyard? I just came here to spend some time in the graveyard by myself and enjoy the afternoon. Okay, well, he met her. What else does he want to do? Let's just let's just follow Illidan around today. Dance outside a fairy house party. Um. <laughs> I guess we need to make friends with the fairy in order to do that. I don't know what a fairy house party is. Um, they're getting along very well, and I haven't even done anything. He also wants to get a dollhouse. So, I mean... We have plenty of money. I'm not... What? Work out using the quick burst option to improve athletic skill. I don't... I don't care about that. Alright. Um... What's going on at the house? <laughs> you Sarah had a book to read, yes? Okay, you're you're home from your job at the mayor. The your job being the mayor. So let's go ahead and read your book. Yay pork barrels. Because that's how you learn to be a better mayor, right? Yeah, so there's just it's I don't know if it's glitched into the floor, it's just not there, guys. Like I can't click on it. There's nothing here. No interaction available. 
but I mean it's weird it's weird that there's no interaction available on that spot of ground right because you can click all around it to go there but not here it's because of the gate I really just I screwed everything up it sucks but we do I mean we at least have this weird little invention right and I guess I'll keep the shed around for a while. Everyone's like, you need to build a better house. You've got so much money. It's not that much money, guys. It's only 27000 And I have grand plans for this house. In a couple more generations, it's going to be amazing. Right, Mr. Clean? Oh, it doesn't even look that much like Mr. Clean. It's just the only nickname I could think of for somebody wearing all white. What are you doing in here? This is not your space to sleep. No one said you could come in here. You are defiling Gustavo's memory by sitting on his bed. He's supposed to be doing sportsy things, right? Okay, let's let's see what we can buy. We need to buy a dollhouse for Illidan because he wants one. Um, is he sharing a room with Jaina now? That seems to be the case. Uh, I don't know. We can get rid of this, though. And buy a dollhouse. Where would this... Oh, yeah. hmm. Really, the two boys should be sharing a room, and Jaina should have this one, right? Uh, let's let's do that. Let's move his rug in here. This can be the playtime rug. So, um, hmm. or or not? Uh, well, yeah, we could just put it there. That's that's a normal place for a rug, right? Okay, right. Uh, dollhouse. So probably in kids. Toys? Mm, there's lots of weird toys. Very small train set? Cor cornucopia toy box? Oh, it's just a lot of different kinds of toy boxes. Let's see. Victorian dollhouse? I mean, that's what we're going for. We're not, we're not ha gonna have just any dollhouse. There. Um, and then we need, we need something sports related. We got a foot and hand ball. Exercise. This isn't very sportsy. Music box with gnome. Um, no. Orb of answers. Okay, these are not sportsy things. How about there's a foosball table? There's a baseball. Let's let's use the foot and hand ball. Okay, Varian, what can you do with a foot and hand ball? Play catch with Agra? Yeah, sure. Sure, I mean, why not? And then Illidan, he's making friends with his fairy friend, but um, he really should come home and play with the dollhouse, because it's what he wants. He just has a thing for tiny houses, is the thing. He wants to have a dance party outside a fairy house party. I don't know what that means. I haven't ever had any fairies in the family yet. I guess we should work on getting some in. But... I don't know. Maybe maybe a little Illidan just needs to be a fairy. What? She's taking a bath, dude. What? You interrupted... <laughs> when I asked you to play catch with her, I didn't mean to interrupt her bath. Whatever. Whatever. Everybody's sad. We need some cheering up. We could use the mood adjuster, but really that's just... That's more of a hassle than waiting nine hours. Or two days. Oh, two days is a long time. Hunted? It's always best to befriend a vampire as they can emerge at any time. Oh. Apparently he was hunted by a vampire at one point. I don't remember this happening. Um, Augur, where... You missed an emergency. Augur, you're doing pretty bad with the whole missing emergencies thing. I mean, just because your lifetime wish has been accomplished doesn't mean... What? Yeah, herpy nerb. Let's see. Let's see. Man, she's got an arm on her. It's cause she's a firefighter. Yeah, dude, dude. Seriously, your mom is putting you to shame. What is that? What is that throw? <laughs> I mean, come on. I'm no all-star athlete, but I mean, I feel like I could <laughs> successfully toss a football back and forth with my mom. Oh. Man, she is just she's got a rocket for an arm. Is it, it's because of her 
She's like fully, yeah, fully athletic. <laughs> Ow! And he's got one point. Yarb. <laughs> Man, I could sit here and watch this all day. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> Meanwhile, little Illidan is enjoying playing with his dolls. Oh, he's not naked. He does have, like, some sort of pants on. But, you know, I guess he's just not going to wash himself. I, I mean, I don't see why, why you should. He's too brave and insane for that. It's a little weird to be brave and also hate the outdoors. Feel the adrenaline rush. Um, death defying stunts. Oh, that's Arlo. I was like, are we talking about Varian? The adrenaline, adrenaline rush of being pelted in the face with a football by your mother. <laughs> it's funny every time. I'm not sure what kind of game he's playing with his dolls in here with his insane aunt. They would get along pretty well, I guess, because they're both insane. I mean, that's how it works, right? Insane people always get along with each other. Like, oh, let us uh, hover outside, outside of our home, and talk to each other, and occasionally, occasionally smash into each other. That's how we play with dolls. Oh, yeah, headbutt. Wow. Bam, bam, oh, jeez, what is this? What? Inappropriate games being played. Um, what? Just, what? What? What did, what? What is going on? What is going on with this this spot on the ground? <laughs> Yasera just teleported there for no reason. That was weird. I don't even understand. <laughs> like I didn't. I. Don't know. That was weird. Okay, game. Okay, I think the game itself is haunted. I think Gustavo is haunting the actual software. <laughs> So, uh, there's a dead guy. There's a dead robot out there somewhere. I was in charge of keeping track of his headstone and and things just went sideways. I don't know what to tell you guys. Uh, mom, I'm gonna go find some cake or something. Um, Uncle Arlo is scaring me. Oh, Grandpa. Grandpa Arlo is scaring me. Narbot? Mm, Narbot? <laughs> okay, and now we're just gonna stare. Just stare at each other, and then we're gonna leave. Okay. What a fantastic family meal of cake in the middle of the night. Um, is... Oh. Okay, then. Well... Poor Jaina. Oh, no, she died off the lot again, so now we're gonna have weird... We're gonna have grave... I have gravestone anxiety. I'm much more concerned about that than the fact that Jaina's dying. Because, I mean, she had a good run. She really didn't have much of a chance to to get her lifetime wish. She wanted to be a criminal mastermind. So far, that man, we're 0 for 2 for criminal masterminds in this family. But, I mean, that's just not the easiest thing in the world. Okay, so here's a gravestone. Um, the game is frozen. Okay. <laughs> All uh, right, let's let's not entrust Arlo with it this time. Let's just put it in the family inventory. Why why did we go all the way over here? This is not where I wanted to be. Can I not? Okay, okay, then we can't do that. Um, let's entrust it to Illidan. Or we could go to the dead manager, right? Hmm. Should Illidan manage the dead? I don't know. I don't know. Let's try... Where is the warehouse place? I forgot. Oh, here it is. Okay, let's just... Let's try doing it the normal way. We'll just move it into here. Just put it there. 
I swear. Okay. And now, very carefully, very delicately, we'll go over to the graveyard. We won't put it in any weird places. Where's Jaina's gravestone even going to be? I forgot. It's the spares. Oh, she's a spare. Oh, no. Where are the spares going to be in this graveyard? I did not think this through very well. Um, okay, well, we're going to have Grifter, and then Claire, and then a space. And then we'll have... I She can just be by Ysera, right? We, we don't have to put her exactly where she's going to be just yet. Let's just put her... Hmm. We can make a separate graveyard for the spares. <laughs> that would be kind of sad. We'll just put her right here for now. And we can move her later, right? Okay. Um, okay, so let's let's just Oh, someone's gotta go carve her epitaph there. Um, might as well be Arlo since he's awake. Alright, oh, he doesn't have to be there. Here lies Jaina. Uh period. Or comma. Who Fail to take over the world. Okay, we can't put a period at the end, but accept. Alright, so that's taken care of. There's still a weird gem there in the yard. And we still don't know where Gustavo's is, but at least that's that. Okay, every time I go looking around trying to find friends for Ysera, it's Tamara Donner. Just every time. She's the only person left in the town when Ysera's available. When Ysera's at work, suddenly all the Clarks come out. But not right now. There's nobody. There's nobody here. Oh, here's some people to make friends with. Alright. Just teleport here. Oh yeah, we've got the <laughs> toad lady. Um, yeah, let's make friends with her, I guess, so we can eventually um, <laughs> ask her about her day. How's your day, toad lady? Um, is everything is everything going okay? Is everything normal? I don't know why I'm saying that. She's not even here yet, but that's what she's going to say. I'm just practicing for her. Um, we'll brighten her day. All right, guys. No, you got sidetracked again. Seriously. <laughs> You're supposed to be playing catch. You need to teach this kid. No, we're not talking about brooms. You need to teach him how to throw a foot and handball. Why aren't... Why? Why is it not working? Play catch. Stop. Stop that. Play catch. Okay. Say, would you like to toss around the old foot and handball? Uh, lightly? Gently? Uh, in, a, in a manner in which I could catch it? Please? Sure, son. Stand back. Embrace yourself. Where are you guys going? Is this necessary? Do you really need to go all the way over here? Where are you going? Guys. Guys. You're wasting time. Okay. Has he gotten any better? No. No, he has not. Well, how is you, Sarah, doing? How are your exploits going? Um. How da hill? How da hill? How da hill? Blagadarg. Okay, are you are you friends yet? Let's see. Let's check. I don't know, maybe she has... Oh, she's making friends very well, okay. Yeah, and... Okay, so now just go make friends with Josiah. And you should be set. I think. Or do you have five friends already? I think she has five friends, because it's not saying that I need to make more. Wait, 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 wait. It's here that it said that. Um... Oh, how do I only have three current friends? I'm losing friends too fast. A regretful bladder accident? Varian, what? 
what? Not only can you not throw a football, you can't you can't control your bladder in the house. Did you pee yourself while playing football? I guess not, because here's the puddle. Whatever. Whatever, I'm so done with you. Oh, it's Saturday. He really needs to practice. <laughs> his homework. He also needs to do his homework. Um, well, that's not important right now. Maybe Arlo will play with him. Oh, all this charisma. She makes friends really fast. So at least there's that. And she's... I mean, she's got the skills for it too, right? She's like good and unflirty. Yeah, okay, she's not at all. She has really boring skills, but... But she can do nice things, like ask about people's day and brighten their day. Alright, he's a friend. Did we make it? Okay, now we have four friends. Okay, now let's go make friends with this dude, Mr. Watermelon Shirt. Flirtatious greet? What? How about we just greet him? Oh, we can invite him to join the conversation. Yeah, yeah, kill, kill two birds with one stone. Befriend two men with one conversation. Hey, Weemaboo! Yeah, uh, come over, Heezy. No? No, he's like, listen, I, I got my burger situation going on. I don't even care about you. See you later, Jose. You stand there and laugh about the clouds. Hey, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Oh, uh, are you gonna ask me to the disco? <laughs> um, no, actually. I'm married to a very young man, but I I just needed to talk to you. Oh, they're friends. How are they friends? What is this instant friendship? Oh, that's Josiah. Okay. Are we? Okay, he's an acquaintance. Okay, well, let's just turn on the charm. Brighten his day. And get to know him. Is somebody being is somebody being ravaged or something? What's going on here? Oh, okay. Toad Girl is playing fetch with Hank Goddard. <laughs> okay then. That's great. Wouldn't it be great if the Toad thing? I think I've said something about this before. Wouldn't it be great if Toad Face was like part of their genetics? And you could marry a toad in the family, and it would like bring their toad genes in, like it did with the aliens in The Sims 2. That was so great. Oglesies were better in The Sims 2. They just were. Where'd he go? Where did my watermelon friend go? What's this? Is her name Menu? Oh, Manu. Manu Box. Okay. He's gone. Our watermelon friend is gone. He's leaving. He's leaving us. We put all of that time into him. Go brighten his day. Go. Go do it. Go brighten it. Go go over there now. Oh, we have to wait for him. Um, okay, well, you better just, just start walking over there. Okay. Hi there. Hi there, new friend. I waited for you. Uh, let's be good friends. Let me brighten your day. Is Does your day need brightening again? I know I just brightened it a few minutes ago, but... Um... Um, how about we chat about things? Oh, now we're friends. Okay. So, um, it says... Now it says we need six friends. What is this game? What are you doing? Flip tables. Whatever. She'll make more friends next time. Good grief. I don't have time for this. This friendship. Who has time for friendship? Mm -mm. All right, it's time to feed Cupcake too. Uh, Varian looks like he's uh, he's on the ball here. He's ready to go. So let's just go ahead and have him feed him. Hey, how you doing, Cupcake too? Uh, what's going on? Uh, I'm a little bit concerned about Illidan. Um, did you see? Did you see he left the house and then he came home, not wearing any clothes and covered in soot, and his hair was all messed up, and then he went in there and played with dolls. I just, I'm concerned, I'm concerned about his well-being. You know, don't worry about it. Um, he's hardly the craziest one in the family. So, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.